Hello everyone. In today's class, we will see means the problem remaining of the chapter one of S. A. Verma, and uh, we have solved up to question number nine. And in today's class, we will see question number ten. The question ten it is saying that the height of a mercury column in a barometer in a Kolkata laboratory was recorded to be seventy five centimeter, and uh, the data which is given here that is the specific gravity equals thirteen point six, and the density of water equals thousand kg per meter cube. So we have to calculate pressure. Pressure in terms of uh, pressure having a unit of u unit in SI and CJ. Uh, what will be? Okay. So first of all, means uh, we know that is uh, for calculating pressure. Pressure we know the formula of pressure is rho h g and the density is of mercury here. Okay. So so means uh, since we are not knowing the density of mercury, so how we will calculate? We know the formula that is specific gravity equals density of mercury upon density of water. So from here we can calculate density of mercury will be the value of specific gravity is thirteen point six and that of water is thousand. So it will be thirteen six 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 zero zero upon kg per meter cube. Okay. So now we came to know means uh, the density of mercury, and already it is given in the question that is the height of a column, height of mercury column in barometer is twenty five centimeter, and g is what g is acceleration due to gravity. So we can find out from here that is p equals p equals rho m h g. So I can write it means uh, this is thirteen six zero height. It it is given that is 0.75 in terms of meter and acceleration due to gravity. I am taking here 9.8. The unit of this is kg per meter cube and that of this meter and this is meter per second square. So both meter meter get cancelled. The remaining will be this much and the value of this is what to say. Thirteen six zero zero into one seven five into nine point eight. This is equals nine nine six zero watt kg per meter second square. So what I am doing here, just multiplying the numerator and denominator part by S meter, okay. So what we will what we will see here. So what this is actually Newton. Okay, so I can also write it Newton per meter square. This is in SI system. Okay. When we talk about in CGS, CGS, since we know that is P equals nine 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 six zero into what kg kg I can also convert it thousand gram into hundred centimeter upon uh, upon what is this? This is you say. Hundred centimeter into second into hundred centimeter. Okay, this this both will get cancelled. So also we can say means what? Not uh, I am cancelling it here. Means this centimeter. Okay, so I will get from here. This is nine 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 six zero zero gram per. Centimeter second square, and I can write it six zero zero. Sorry, that oh sorry six zero zero. This is what dine dine per okay meter square. Since you know since should be what is a one dine one dine equals ten is to minus five. Newton. 
this is clear now next question this is now question number 11 you to solve okay in question 11 it is saying that express the power of a 100 watt bulb in cgs unit it is given that power power equals 100 watt of a bulb okay so in question it is saying that express it express it in cgs unit okay so how we will do since you know that is power equals 100 watt okay so what it equals what joules per second so i can write it 100 joule per second okay and we know since since uh, 1 joule equals 10 to 7 arg okay so in cgs you say okay so from here we can go we are getting here 10 to 7 arg per second so this will be 10 to 9 arg per second okay what is power power is rate of doing work is termed as power Question 12 it is saying that the normal duration of IC physics practical period in Indian college is 100 minutes. Okay, express this period in micro centuries. Okay, it is saying that normal duration of practical. normal duration of practical in Indian college it is given there here that is 100 100 minutes and uh, express we have to express express it in micro centuries okay and it is given given what one micro centuries equals 10 to minus 6 into 100 years so how many micro centuries okay and uh, so how will we, how we will solve it we know that is a uh, 100 minutes okay since uh, you know in one year in one year what uh, let's say 365 days so 365 into 24 this is our sixty this is minute okay so, so we got that is in one year. One year means uh, this much minutes uh, is this much uh, is the minute. Okay, so in one micro centuries, I can say since uh, it what uh, in one micro centuries, it will be. 10 is to minus 6 into 100 into 365 into 24 into 60 minutes okay so this will be around you say 
10 This is a minus fifty two point five six minutes. So uh, means in in one minute. What is saying that means uh, question was saying that express this period in micro centuries. Okay, so express. So what? Uh, One not equals one upon micro centuries. So it is say nineteen point zero two five to ten to minus three micro centuries okay and it is also say it is also saying that uh, in a you say in a day how many hours uh, how many micro century did you sleep okay so since generally we used to sleep eight hours so I can also convert it eight into eight into let's say 60 minutes and from here we can write means what 8 into 16 19.025 into 10 raised to minus 3 so this will be into 60 into 8 equals 9.1342 micro century Okay, there is nothing in this question actually means it is said that means normal duration of uh, physics normal duration of practical of physics in Indian college is uh, is, is, is takes is, is, is takes around 100 minutes so express it is in micro century and it is given the question that is 1 micro century equals 10 raised to minus 6 into 10 raised to into 100 years okay since it was given that is 100 minutes okay and I have to convert it in terms of micro centuries so listen means in one year we know that is there, there is 365 days and what so we convert it in terms of hours 365 into 24 this much, this much amount of hours and one year equals 365 into 24 into 60 means this uh, this much minutes so in one micro century it will be 10 raised to minus 6 into 100 into 365 into 24 into 60 so we got 52.56 minutes okay and then what we did since 1 minute equals 1 upon 52.56 micro century 19.025 into 10 raised to minus 3 micro centuries so it and it was also asking usage for uh, for this is general person means uh, yesterday you slept for about eight hours so how many micro centuries you slept so just i converted means uh, hours in terms of minutes and then after means uh, the value of minutes in terms of micro centuries from here i placed so i got error means 9.1342 micro centuries okay this was question number 12 now we will see which is question number 13 in question number 13 it is saying that surface tension of water is 72 dime per centimeter surface tension we are representing surface tension of water it is given that is 72 dime per centimeter so convert in SI unit ok so <coughs> this is nothing so what we will do here you know that is 72 and uh, since we know that uh, 10 raised to 
10 raised to 5 time equals 1 newton so I can say 1 time will be 10 raised to minus 5 newton so it will be here minus 5 newton upon 10 raised to minus 2 meter so it will be 72 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton per meter in SI okay. so question number 14 this was question 30 okay the kinetic energy of a rotating body depends on moment of inertia what is saying that is kinetic energy depends on or is a function of moment of inertia okay and its angular speed you say angular speeds assuming the relation a uh, given there is a relation given what kinetic energy equals k and omega is to be so where r is the dimensionless constant where r is where this actually this is the dimensionless constant and we have to calculate what is the value of a and b okay and uh, it is given the moment of inertia of a sphere i equals i of sphere equals 2 by 5 m r square okay since we know that k equals omega this is omega and this is moment of inertia this is kinetic energy the dimension we will apply here the principle of homogeneity the dimension of kinetic energy this will be ml square t minus 2 and that of since it is dimension is constant there is no dimension and moment of inertia it is given means to have ml square this to a and that of omega omega is we can write v, v equals what v equals uh, omega is equals r into v so it will be here so ml square t minus 2 I can write the dimension of this will be mass this much this is what 2 a and that of velocity velocity equals l t minus 1 b and uh, this is having a dimension r having dimension of l so this will be this much so ml square t minus 2 equals 2a plus 2b t raised to minus b now just by equating the time equating dimension of each term of both side we will get from here that is a equals 1 and uh, minus b equals minus 2 so b equals 2 so I can say the kinetic energy will be k i what i power 1 and omega is to 2 this is the formula ok so I am stopping here and uh, the remaining questions will be solved in the next class so be tuned with me and uh, if you like then please subscribe